Hello and welcome to another episode of our jump and run tutorial series using Godot Mono. In this episode we will create our first enemy with very simple AI. So for that I have created a new sprite which is our enemy which is a slime. Then we will create a new folder and in here we will create a new scene. It's gonna be a kinematic body 2D. I'll load in the sprite frames. We'll of course add a collision shape. It's nothing new right here. Uh, we did all of this with our player. So we create an enemy.cs script. So we'll have a private vector to move just like we had with our player. G equals 9.8. And our mass is going to be 0.8 f. A slime is probably not too heavy. And we simply say move dot y plus equals mass times g. So we'll have an integer, which is going to be our moving directions, either minus 1 or 1. We'll also have a const float speed. We don't need any acceleration or something like that. Just want our enemy to move. And create a method called handle move dot x plus equals move their time speed so far very basic stuff we are only moving him into a direction and we are applying gravity and we say move and slide move whoa and there he is so as you can see he's falling down immediately that is because he doesn't have any ai if we now want to add ai we should first uh add a few ray casts my opinion ray cast is a perfect way to give our slime a little bit of vision. We will have a few ray casts. Ray cast down left, ray cast down right, and ray cast look. Ray cast down left has to be positioned to the left. Ray cast down right to the right, and ray cast look has to cast to to the side, so that it can look ahead. So now let's fetch those ray casts. So we have a private ray cast and we create an array down casts which contains two elements and we'll also create a private cast 2d which is not going to be an array look ahead cast down casts zero equals ray cast down left ray cast down right and our look ahead cast is find node ray cast look we create a method private bool put turn which will tell us whether we should turn around because we'll fall down or we'll hit a wall. So and then we say if move dear equals equals minus zero, then we will return not downcasts zero is colliding. So we will simply say, all right, if we are moving to the left, then we should return our is colliding of our downcast left. If there is no ground to the left, then it will return true. And if there is a ground to the left, then we will return false. So if there is no ground, this method fires true and we do the same for the other way around but it should also turn if look ahead cast that is colliding so if there is something in front we should also turn around so if there's like an obstacle a wall or something and we should also return now you'll override the process method and we say look ahead cast dot cast to equals a new vector two and you can see if you look to the left it should cast to minus 16 and if you look to the right, it should cast to 16. And then we say 16 times move here, 0 as y. And if should turn, so if we should turn around, then we will turn around move there times equals minus 1. This operation will simply flip our move direction around. You can see, you will now turn around when he reaches a corner. Now we have to say that it should exclude the player. So what we do is we go into project settings. We say under layer names 2D physics, we can say, all right, well, this physics layer contains everything that is in our world. This physics layer contains the player and number three contains all of our enemies. So we can say, all right, slime is on layer enemies, but it should mask, it lo should look for the world. And our player should be on the layer player, it should mask the world and enemies. And now as you can see, 
our enemy AI is working quite well. In the next episode, we will get to interacting with the enemy. So we will kill it and we will make it kill us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you have any suggestions and on what you want to learn. So yeah, I hope I see you the next time around. With that, I say goodbye.